throughout the day, there are several instances when we should invoke Goddess Lakshmi. And if we do that, we will be happier because of it. When you adorn your body, remember her. When you pamper your body, remember her. When you dress your body, remember her. And dress like her. Because her core value is self-value. She teaches us the dharma of self-worth, self-love, self-compassion. She teaches us how to be grateful for the body we have, for our mind that can think beautiful thoughts and imagine beautiful ideas and images and possibilities. So she wants us to convert our body and mind into a temple, not toss disgusting, toxic foods and ideas and friendships into it, but instead mindfully adorn the body, mind and personality with choice ingredients, choice fruits, foods, fruits, and even choice friendships. Choose your companions in service of your inner Lakshmi. None should be allowed to abuse you or exploit you because inner Lakshmi wouldn't like that. She has really high standards. She doesn't just embody dharma or righteousness to be a do-gooder in the world. She embodies dharma for deep self-respect self-value and self-worth. So the time to unpack her and her archetype is when you feel that there is not enough attention being given to you by the world or you yourself have abandoned yourself. You're neglecting your body, your health, your well-being. Time to turn up the dial on Lakshmi Shakti and roar with Goddess pleasure. And you shall find that you're becoming prosperous in so many ways. Not only are you bringing your skilled focus attention to your work, but you may also notice that you are working on your health, on your exercise, on the kind of foods you eat, the way you clean your home, the way you decorate your surroundings, the way you cultivate your garden, and the way you cultivate your friends. The books you read and the relationships you um, cultivate, all of this will benefit from a contemplation on Goddess Lakshmi and her golden color and her vahana, her spirit animal, the owl.